So if you don't know, the system is always changing. Equifax is changing. Experian is always changing. TransUnion is always changing, right? So I just want to give you a way so you can start getting some deletions, all right? If you don't want to go through the litigation process, I understand it takes time, but that's like the best way. However, if you want to start ahead and knocking the credit rails out, here's what you need to do first to get started, all right? So first things first, get started the next 24 hours, right? We reap, we reap what we sow. So as long as you continue to put in the work, eventually what you're going to see is the work pay off, all right? So what you want to do is get your report, all right? Now, once you have your report, you want to go to um you want to go to these multiple places. You want to get your report from Identity IQ. Here's why: because what you're going to see is the inconsistencies of what's going on with those specific accounts that's holding you back. But you also want to call Equifax. You also want to call TransUnion. You also want to call Experian. Here's why: because they're going to send you some reports that has some information that's going to allow you to remove some stuff. And I'm going to talk about that later on. All right. Next, what you want to do is go to annualcreditreport.com and get those reports as well because they have information. But if you ever wanted to sue or if you ever want to go to the litigation process, now you are starting with your reports and you can um, document and keep it for you later on. So if you ever, like I said, want to take this to, um, to a lawyer, if you ever want to talk to a consumer lawyer, now you have all the proper documentation. Not saying that you um they won't take your case if you didn't but now you have like all the evidence you have everything right so that's what you want to do um as you can see on the screen is look at your um negative accounts right let me make this a little bit bigger so you want to look at your negative accounts you want to check all the accounts that's holding you back whether that's an eviction charge off collection bankruptcy eviction um, student loans with multiple late payments, right? Just look at everything that's holding your credit score back, all right? So when you see inconsistencies, all right? So you just want to go to like your negative accounts and you just want to see this, like, just look, all right? We're not going to do nothing because it's a lot of mistakes people make when they first dispute. So just look at the inconsistencies or what I'm talking about, the account name, account type, um, monthly payments, they open balance, like everything, the inconsistent information that's not reported correctly on your credit report, as you can see right here on the date open. So you're just going to see a lot of inconsistent information, a lot of inaccurate information on your credit report. All right. So this is going to allow you to get things removed. Now that's not a hundred percent guarantee it's going to come off, but this allows you to, um, you know, show them proof that hey, they're not reporting inconsistent. I mean, they're not reported correctly. So let's send a letter in um certified to the credit bureaus so they can do a thorough investigation of your specific accounts now i'm going to show you how to create a letter all right create a letter right here using artificial intelligence all right so we're going to go to chat gpt to create our letter now it should look something similar to this right here you should be on a screen that looks like this so once you have um it's free create account with google um and it's going to allow you to um be on a screen that looks like this now here's what you want to do all right you want to you know ask them this you want to prompt it and um i already created a prompt for you and you just ask the credit bills to do this right or ask chat gpt to do this right and it's gonna spit out something all right so as you can see um how quick that was right so but you just got to be really good with the prompting, all right? You can play with it based off of like what I talk about, based off of like information, based off if you heard the lawyer. You can just play around with like the prompting, right? Um, just you can always change it and, and fix it up to your thing. But most importantly, you want to ask them to create a letter and it's going to spit out a letter for you. And then just make sure it makes sense, right? And then what we want to do is copy it. So... Here, you just want to look over it. So you, of course, you want to have your name, address, city, the credit bureau. So we talking to Equifax or TransUnion Experian, right? The address, all right? And then as it has a subject there, um, whoever, I'm writing this dispute, um, I'm writing to dispute certain information on my credit report as provided by your agency pursuant to a Fair Credit Reporting Act. Y'all will talk about, I request that you conduct an investigation into the accuracy of the following items on my report, all right? So, you know, your name, the account, right? You can tell them and also it outlines some more stuff, but everybody, like when you put this specific thing in, 
everybody's thing is going to be a little bit different. Now you don't have the same information. So all you have to do now is just copy what this, what this says, right? Copy everything. And then once you have everything that also has like some, some laws and then just copy everything. Once you have everything, you just want to go to um, another Google doc um, and then just paste it. Right. So just now it's going to look crazy. So here's what we need to do. Just fix all this stuff up. And so now you have your letter, right? We copy and paste everything. So now we just want to look over it and see, make sure everything is um, correct. Right. On this um, letter. So have your name, right? Put your name in right here. Highlight, put your name in here. Also, let me make this bigger. Um, once you have your name, of course, uh, put your address, city, put today's date, um, the credit bureau that we're disputing with, the credit bureau's address. You can Google all this information, but make sure the subject, um, their credit bureau. We already read over this part. And then, you know, you can remove this part because we're not disputing information. Um, if we can create, you want to create like a specific letter just to clean up your personal information. So we can actually remove that. And then the information, the inaccurate information as it follows. So you just want to put your account name, account number and explanation of the inaccuracy. All right. So as we talked about before, there are different ways, but I would just tell the credit bureaus to investigate the completeness and accuracy of this account. And if it's not complete and accurate, delete it. All right. And this just we just being simple, right? And then from there, I believe that a do do you can read this. I believe these entries are incorrect and violate the provision of a fair laws requires a consumer report to investigate the dispute within 30 days or receive the dispute of providing relevant information to help you conduct a thorough investigation. All right. So if you want to include um like other documents and things like that, we don't have to, but hey, just remove all this stuff. We just want the credit bills to do an investigation, all right? So Furthermore, the um, legal provision that support my dispute. These are the laws. You can go ahead and read over the laws as well. But um, I'm also requesting that you provide me with the result of the investigation to write in. And as you can see, it's going to create a letter. Sincerely, your full name, signature. Um, and then if you have any documents that's enclosed, we don't need no extra documents. We just only thing we need is two forms of identification. All right. We need. Um, your driver's license, which is proof and proof of residency, right? So we just want to have those two, right? Proof of bill, proof of like a bank account with the address. There's something that has like your information. But most importantly, once you have that letter, right? See how quick that was. Um, once you have that information, you want to send that certified, go to the post office, send a certify um, to the credit bureaus, all right? Uh, copy the letter. We already did that part and add your specific information. All right. We just did that part. So you can go ahead and add your specific information. So this is kind of easy for you to go ahead and create a letter. And you can, like I said before, you can just play around with the um, chat GPT that um, create like a crazy letter, a dope letter using some laws, some language, but make sure that the e Oscar, which is the credit bureau system, understand it. All right. AI with AI, you know, make it a little bit more simple. All right. Now, like I said, send the letter. Um, like I said before, we want to send a letter to Experian. We want to send a letter to TransUnion. We want to send a letter to Equifax. All right, send it certified. Um, add your two forms. Do that. All right, get that done in the next 24 hours. We can get that done. All right. Now, step two, we gotta wait. All right. Now, in the waiting period, all right, we gotta wait 35 days. Here's why. According to the law, they have 30 days to do an investigation and an additional five days to um, send you the investigation back. All right. So within the meantime that we're waiting, here's what you can be doing. All right. You can be checking your open accounts. All right. You can be looking at your payment history, your utilization, and um, make sure things are reported correctly. Now, here's why. If your open accounts um, is reported inconsistent payment history, what I mean by that, if it's not reported on time payments, if your utilization is messed up, if the balance is messed up, uh, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So here's an example of like an account. All right. So let's just say open account, open account. If it's reporting like right here, TransUnion is not reporting a date. When was this account actually open? And you can actually look at that, right? So just, you just want to check everything. All right. So this account was open on July 3rd, 2023. All right. So 
you want to make sure that hey this is reported correctly now sometimes as you can see on like another account right here july you just want to make sure this is all reported correctly so i just want to go to another account and make sure and give you an example all right so let's just say this account well, is reported on july 9th 2022 i mean not july um december 9th 2022 right you want to make sure but look as you can see TransUnion experience is a reported an on-time payment now we're not saying that thing is late but it's not reporting an on-time payment so it can be costing you some points on your open account all right and points matter when it comes to um your interest rate and things like that so the better your credit score the better your interest rate no down payment no specific right save you money so everything counts as you can see right here march um it's not reported correctly october so all that you want to create um you want to check and then highlight and then we'll create a letter to send out to update that as well right but just make sure the credit limit um is correct right so I don't know if this is an actual credit card, but, or this is an auto loan. So, but if you do have a revolving account, you want to make sure the credit limit is correct. The, um, um, the monthly payment is correct. The date open balance, everything is correct. All right. As you can see, the month terms is not reported correctly. All this, you want to make sure it's reported correctly, especially like with a credit card. Cause if it has the wrong balance, of course, if you have the wrong balance, that means your utilization is a little bit higher, which would then decrease your credit score. So all this, like you could be doing all the right things, but it could be reported incorrectly. All right. And a lot of people just don't be paying attention to their credit reports and you can be missing out on an additional 10, 15, 20, 35 points by just it reporting incorrect information on your report. So this is why this is all important just to, for you to be looking over this all right so in the meantime as you're waiting for the investigation you could be doing other things such as looking at your open accounts right now now what you want to be doing is after you check to make sure um after you check your open accounts after you um do that do you have credit what i mean by that do you have um a loan installment accounts do you have revolving accounts all right so first thing you can go ahead and create relationships with credit unions. All right. And credit unions are a good place to go start creating a relationship with. Um, you can get a secured loan through them. You can get secure credit cards. You can call, talk to them, ask them, you know, the humans, ask them the different type of programs they have. Do they have like home programs, business accounts? Just you just ask them because you just want to know. And they will start telling you some information. So you just want to get that. Um, if you don't want to go to a credit union, you can go to um, rent reports. You can go to a rent, uh, rental karma. You can go to Tumble Credit Boost. You can do sell. You can do um, credit. There are so many places that do no credit check that's going to allow you to build up your credit profile. All right. Now, I'm not trying to put you in debt. I'm just telling you to help you build up your credit profile. So these are some of the places you can go to right now. Um, that's going to allow you to build up your credit profile. All right. So if a credit lender looks at your credit report, they're like, oh, this person is um, really good with managing their payments all the time. They got a strong profile. I have no problem approving them with anything, right? So as you're adding um, credit to your credit profile, be mindful that when you add credit to your credit profile, yes, it's gonna, depending on like your credit score, your credit profile, it will like decrease the age because of your affecting that part. But like rent reporters, Rental Karma, Boom Pay, you can actually add rent or add payments to your credit report. You can add additional history to your credit report. So just look those places up. Um, see the different prices. I believe Boom Pay is like a sixty dollars one time fee, um, and then like twenty five dollars a year. Rent reporters or Karma like pay charge monthly. So just check that out. All right. So add those different type of accounts on your credit report. Of course, you can do authorized user, but be mindful of what you're getting. Don't be paying because if you do pay, guess what? It might not report. So have some friends or family that has like really good credit. Um, you can get added. Make sure you do your due diligence on that. But next, what you want to do is um, clean up your personal information. As we're waiting these 30 days, um, you want to continue cleaning up your uh, personal information. So I talked about calling the credit bureaus before. So you want to make sure you get your reports. Cause what you're going to see is 
Um, even if you go on Experian, you're going to see like different like variations of your name, right? You're going to see um, multiple um, names under your report. It's crazy, all right? So they got to be reporting that correctly. And you can also create a, um, you can use chat GPT to also um, create a letter to clean up your personal information. So it could just be really simple. Um, and let me show you. So share this. So let me show you. Um, so you can say create a. So see how quick that was. Can you create a personal from uh, personal information dispute letter based off the laws? All right. And that quick. That's how quick it is to um, create a letter. All right. So but like I said, if you don't prompt it right, then it's not going to create the letter right. And you just need the information so you can go ahead. But just go ahead, copy everything. Make sure it's correct, and um, you can like they got the laws and everything. Whew, what I'm talking about, and then just copy it. Then you want to go to another document, share this tab instead. And so we have the letter. Make sure it looks, you know, how you want it to look. Add your name, of course. Add your address, city. We talked about already. There are um, dispute of inaccurate personal information. So who are you talking to? Are you talking to TransUnion? Are you talking um, Experian? Are you talking to Equifax? As you know, talking about Equifax, so if it's reporting correctly, um, we want to be talking to Equifax if we just dealing with them. I'm writing a dispute. Um, I'm writing to dispute certain personal information on my credit report as provided by your agency pursuant to the Fair Credit Reporting Act 15 U.S.C. 1681. All right, I request that you conduct an investigation into the accuracy of the following personal information, right? So put your name, date of birth, social, all right, current address, or rather personal information, all right? I believe that a personal information um, is listed above is incorrect and violates the provisions of the FCRA. The FRA, uh, FCRA requires that a consumer report agencies maintain a reasonable procedure to ensure accuracy of consumer reports, the inaccurate information as follow, all right? So you want to list the inaccurate information, all right? So is your name inaccurate? What's reported incorrectly? Is the date of birth, um, address? What's reported inaccurate, inaccurately? And then basically saying this is um, not correct. My name is not this. This is not that. You just want to add all that um, information. All right. So 15 USC um, FCRA 1681EB, the section mandates that a consumer report agency must follow a reasonable procedure to ensure maximum possible accuracy. Other information, the consumer reports. All right. So as you can see, the laws. Um, this section requires the credit reporting to conduct a reasonable investigation to determine the accuracy of dispute information. So all that they have that just have all that information. And also, if you have pictures or if you have ways to where you can show proof that these names is inconsistent, they're not showing correctly. All right. So take a picture, download it and take a picture, download it. So now you have the letter, you have the inc inaccurate information. And you have your two forms of identification and you want to send that to Experian and TransUnion. All right. So now you have like letters that clean up your personal information. Like, like I said, you want to be doing some extra stuff on the meantime. So we got that personal information. Also, what you can be doing as well is um, cleaning up your um, hard inquiries. Right. So we look at your report and you go all the way down to the bottom and you see the hard inquiries. So when you get your report from like when you call in to get the like not the one off of um, Identity IQ, but when you get the one from um, the one that they send you, you're going to see um, you're going to go to the inquiry section and you're going to see like soft inquiries. You're going to see hard inquiries. You know what I'm talking about when you get the report. But on the hard inquiry section, um, you're going to see the ones that say um, you're going to have all the list of all the hard inquiries, but some is going to have permissible purpose and some aren't going to have permissible purpose. All right. So if you read um, 15 USC 1681B, um, you're going to see that specific information requires purpose to be on your credit report. And if you read that law, you're going to see that some of these inquiries don't have permissible purpose. So you can get that removed based off of the law, right? We just do it everything based off of the fair credit report and that we're not making things up. We just Given now, we know the credit bureaus like to play crazy. That's why I say sometimes you just gotta, you know, talk to a um, consumer lawyer so we can sue them, right? But 
as you know, that takes time. And if you're willing to wait, hey, that's that's the best thing. But removing your hard inquiries from your report, order it, and then check for permissible purpose, like I talked about. And you can also create a letter based off of um based off of the law. All right. So what law do you want to gather? Um you can use like specific laws. So let's use this law instead. Um, let's go to it. So let me show you. Let me give you an example. So you can go to subchapter three. You can just Google 15 USC 1681. And this is going to pop up. And you want to go to subchapter three right here. And then what I was talking about with the permissible purpose of consumer reports is right here. Um, click on it. And how are we going to create this chat GPT language to, you know, not create a bills out. Um, you want to do this all right so just find a specific law and use it so we can do we can just copy this all right so we can create something based off of this law here's what i'm talking about um share this tab instead so what you want to do is Ask Chad GPT, can you create a dispute inquiry letter asking for to do an investigation based on 15 USC 1681B? Bam. All right. And let's see what it spits out. All right. So now sometimes it might have the wrong thing. Sometimes it might not. All right. So let's see what um, it prompts. So it has your name, address, Subject disputed unauthorized inquiries pursuant to 15 USC 1681B. A, that's what I'm talking about. Dear credit bureau, I'm writing the dispute an unauthorized hard inquiry on my credit report as provided as hmm, creditor name, address, type, hard to solve. Um, I believe this inquiry is not permissible under the oof. A, here's the law. We ain't playing. Attach the evidence. So all you want to do is. Um, all you want to do is just copy, copy the letter, copy this letter and go to your documents. Tell you, man, this is like really simple. Um, copy everything. And then once we have everything, go to another document, share this tab instead and make sure. So now we have our letter. Um, we want to go ahead and make sure we update it. So we want to add our personal information. All right. Make sure our name, address, everything is good to go. Credit bureau, um, everything. And then as you can see the subject and then also you can like, who are we talking to? Are we talking to um, Experian, Treasury, and Equifax? But oh, this is personal information. All right. So now we have the letter, right? So we have the name, the address, everything is correct. So you want to make sure everything is complete and accurate. Um, all right. So now we have the letter. All right. So we just want to make sure um, it looks good to go at our name, address. Um, who are we talking to? So make sure that you um, talk to the right credit bureau with the inquiries. Right. And then the ones that you see that don't have permissible purpose, you want to list all those ones right here. All right. So let's list them all. Just copy it. Copy this. And then we could just boom. I'm just list them off, right? And then continue list all the hard inquiries based off of your credit report that's from Equifax. And then create another letter based off of your credit report from Experian. Create another letter based off of your credit report based off of TransUnion, right? So we just want to send those three separate, send those certified, all right? We ain't playing with the credit bill, all right? So we have a lot of um, disputes going out. So we have our personal information. We tell the credit bureaus to do an investigation. We're moving hard inquiries. We're adding um, accounts and things like that. Fixing our accounts, updating, make sure the information is reported. We're doing a lot. We're doing. We're putting a lot of. Hey, we're putting a lot of momentum in. All right, so we're getting this thing rolling. So now, um, thirty days later or whatever times, you're gonna start seeing some some stuff happening. All right, positive accounts um, getting updated. Negative accounts starting to fall off. Um, your credit score is looking correct, right? We're doing a lot of certain things, right? So this is what we need to do. The credit bureaus, like now, we did our part. We waited. Credit bureaus should have responded. You should have got like an investigation back from um, Experian, TransUnion, or Equifax, right? You should have gotten Equifax, but you should have got an investigation back. So 
Now what you want to do is check your investigation. Like, what is it saying? Nine times out of 10, you probably got some deletions. However, you also got some accounts that are verified. And the question is like, what should I do when my accounts come back verified, right? We already know that everything is not complete and accurate. We already know that um, they didn't probably didn't do an investigation. So to, to check the investigation, to um, ask them, you can do that based off of um, right here, 15 USC 1681. I six and seven, and you can ask for um, investigation. You can request to see what they did. Ask for the description. You can ask for these certain things. All right. So this is step two. Let's create a um, a letter using artificial intelligence, asking right the credit bills to um, provide you this information because, like I said, they probably didn't do it. So they're probably gonna. But most importantly, they're supposed to provide you. The description of the investigation in 15 days. All right. So you can read the law yourself. Um, but here's the prompt we want to go ahead and create. And then it's going to be really simple after that. So now let's go to chat GPT. All right. And let's go ahead and create a letter. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So can you create a letter based off of the law and notice and man, this thing is crazy. So it just spit all that out. Still working. Here's a letter. Look, let's look over everything right now. Name, address, put everything, credit bill, who we talking to. Um, are we talking to Experian? Are we talking to TransUnion? Are we talking to Equifax, right? So we're talking to, and then add the subject requesting for a description of procedure used to determine the accuracy and completeness of this information, right? Because what's supposed to happen is they they did an investigation, but now you can ask them like, yo, what did you do? Can you show me the procedure that you use? And you already know they're not gonna provide all that information. But hey, this is another violation that we, you know, that we're getting them to um to violate. So their credit bureau, um, I'm writing to dispute certain information to my credit report to request in accordance with the Fair Credit Report Act, a description of the procedure used to determine the accuracy and the completeness of the information in question. I'm seeking this information as allowed under 18 USC 1681 you know, I, um, six, right. And what's going to happen is they're supposed to provide you that specific information, um, of the description of what happened based off of the laws. All right. Now, so change all that up, add all that, um, uh, account name, account number, expectation that you can just provide me the description of, um, how you investigated this account. Um, that's pretty much it. And then account name, account number, provide me a description of how you investigate this account based off of 15 USC 1681 I-7. And you just continue asking to provide me a description. So list all the accounts on Equifax that they say was verified. List all the accounts on Experian that they said it was verified. List all the accounts on TransUnion that they said was um, 100% verified, right? And then let's go ahead and read this. I'm providing the relevant information. i just going to read. Delete all that. All right, so as part of the dispute, I'm exercising my right to receive a description of the procedures used to you determine the accuracy and completeness of it. Please provide me the following. Um, and we need plan. Provide me the following, right? A detailed explanation based off of this law. And you can read through it. And thank you for this prompt manner, whatever. I'm reading down here. Sincerely, your name, right? And then we can just get rid of that. And that's pretty much it, right? So now we send that to Equifax. We send that to Experian. We send that to um, Charis Union. So we have that. We respond back to the credit bureaus. Now that's going to take um, an additional 15 days. So what's going to happen is they might provide it. They might not provide it. So what do you do next? So we can do now is if they don't provide, um, if they don't provide it, we just file a complaint. Now, when we file a complaint, there are multiple um, things that we're filing. Here's why, because we're just directly, here's what I'm saying. You sent the letter the first time, you asked them to conduct an investigation, all right? They did a reasonable investigation, quote unquote. They're supposed to update it according to 15 USC 1681 I-5. What I mean by update, they're supposed to update the, the account balance if it was reported incorrectly. They're supposed to update the, the open date date last active, payment history and for information, everything they're supposed to update, all that stuff. 
update it, modify it, fix it. He's supposed to do all that on that investigation. They did none of that. Pretty sure. And now you ask them to provide you the description on how they verified and update and did everything. They didn't do it. So now that's two violations right there. And the next violation, they didn't send it to you within 15 days. They didn't do none of that, right? So now we have multiple violations. They didn't give you the description. They didn't provide the 15 days. They didn't update. They didn't modify. Whew. Now you can file a complaint with the CFPB.